Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Now the first comment comes from channel member Spencer. And Spencer says, I was hoping for two, not because of David, but because of the necromancer sailing the open ocean of navigation. LOL. Now what's he referring to? Let's find out. This post that I put up in the community section of my website, of my YouTube, which is a very... I think it's a good place to go if you want some extra education as far as correct sentence structure goes. And the post read, It appears that many folks have a common misconception about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and what it can do if you gain closure on it. The misconception definitely comes from folks who do not possess closure and have never actually used it in a now space scenario. Under duress from Vasilis, i.e. judges, police, military, TSA, etc. These folks seem to think that correct sentence structure is a magic silver bullet that will cause the fiction to poop their pants and run for the hills every time. Most of these same folks place Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller on a pedestal and think that he could do no wrong. Make no mistakes. Again, every single one of these folks have no practical knowledge of correct sentence structure, yet they think they know how it should work. It's like the audience at a boxing match, drinking beer and eating popcorn, never having trained a day in their life, and they think that they know better than the pro boxer in the ring how the fight should be fought. Sure, you can assume that you know more than the pro boxer, but if you were to actually set foot in the ring with them, you'd quickly find out how presumptuous you are. I see the need to publish a Psyche video to address this issue, which I've addressed in the past multiple times. However, the new viewers certainly can't be expected to have seen all 500 plus videos. Quantum grammar is not a magic silver bullet, to make a long story short. It is a technology that can enable you to become an autonomous steward of your construct and contracts while keeping your biosphere safe from bureaucratic trespass. If you wish to have a conversation about it and apply for a workshop, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And this also brings to mind another comment that I received from a viewer that I will not mention. Um, but to paraphrase, they said, well, if one has closure on correct sentence structure, then the fiction should not be able to uh, do anything. Should not be able to trespass. Now, see, there's that, there's that necromantical word, should. If you look up the word should, and you look up the meanings of it, you will find that it's actually a criticism. It's actually a down-low insult. It's presumption and assumption. And it's exactly what I would expect to come out of the mouth of someone who does not have closure on the grammar. Because with this grammar, there is no presumption and assumption. You would think that the fiction shouldn't be able to trespass on you if you have closure on the grammar. But you would think that because you don't have closure on the grammar. If you had closure on the grammar, you, you wouldn't say things like that. 
um, because your knowledge base would be such that you would know things you would know how things work all right and so in light of that the comment from Spencer where he talks about uh, necromancers you can see these choices that I put here uh, the first choice is I need a guarantee before I learn anything which is <laughs> ridiculous in and of itself you know before I train before I join this boxing gym I need a guarantee that I'm gonna win every single fight from here on out when I complete this boxing training how goofy does that sound okay you see what I'm saying and then uh, correct sentence structure shall defeat the hordes of evil necromancers that was a joke by the way okay I've never seen a horde of necromancers and I've, I've never actually seen a necromancer doesn't mean they don't exist it just means that they have no practical value in my day-to-day -day life and they have no bearing on it so if they're necromancers out there then they're out necromancing somewhere where I can't see them and they don't affect anything I do and then the last is I understand the success depends solely upon me and my knowledge which is of course the correct answer and again Spencer as far as my sailing the open sea of space necromancers trouble me little to none no problems with, with necromancers over here thanks for the comment next comment comes from longtime member Rosvon and they say hey brother I'm glad you are back hope you had a good time hats off for turning down the BS your business model is the fairest I've ever seen you've taught much more than grammar thank you for the sharing your knowledge like this ice and steam is or are water one and one equals one and then I did respond yeah my kuliana to Rosvon was ice is ice steam is steam and water is water next comment comes from another channel member Daryl Bennett and they say first they said colon table of content rules is the golden rule by the Constitution for the people by the people to be free innocent by lacks of history star symbol twists of truth and then they say I regret earlier text colon uni versal prime directive is pro motion peace full co e existence mutual respect without with no out interference copyright copy claim okay so Daryl Bennett thank you for the comment thank you for the membership I have no idea what you're trying to convey there as I've said in the past you know if you don't know correct sentence structure I applaud your effort if you are trying to use it for the most efficient effective way to articulate what you're saying please use plain simple English if you don't know correct sentence structure because using stuff like this which is not correct sentence structure uh, doesn't make anything clear as to what you're saying if you just write out a plain simple English uh, sentence with correct volition meaning it's your most effective way to the best of your knowledge to articulate what you're trying to convey then there will be a much better chance for the reader to understand it thank you for the comment another member comment comes from James Alexander and they say for the claims knowledge of the facts is with the closure of the CSS mechanics with the video log of the tutor performance with the Jason Matthew of this YouTube page vessel with the maintenance of the honor and of the grace with the performance by the claimant James Alexander uh, and they say thanks for the investment of your now space all the best with further voyages my questions have been like landmarks to gain my bearings your channel has allowed me to mark my bearings as I pass those landmarks and gain a clear perspective many things and James you're doing wonderful with correct sentence structure your positional sequencing is correct is spot on uh, now the next thing to work on would be to zero in on the clarity of what you're trying to say so let's read it backwards for the claimant 
of the performance is with the owner and with the grace of the maintenance with this YouTube page vessel of the Jason Matthew with the tutor performance of the video log with the correct set instruction mechanics of the closure with the facts by the claimant's knowledge. Now it's unclear to me what they're trying to convey here but one thing I can say for sure is that the word claimant is in here but nowhere in the sentence do I see the word claim. So if there's a claimant something must be being claimed but James has not made that clear. So I did express that to him and he corrected the sentence and let's see what he wrote. He corrected it to for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with this claim of the closure. So it's a closure claim with the correct sentence structure mechanics of the video log with the tutor performance of the Jason Matthew with the YouTube page vessel of this CSS closure with the maintenance of the honor and of the grace with the performance by the claimant. And then they say, thank you, Jason, for pointing this out. I have corrected my claim and the sentence flows forwards and backwards much more smoothly. Thank you. Well, let's find out if that's, uh, if that's true, at least from my standpoint. For the claimant of the performance is with the grace and with the honor of the maintenance. So James is claiming that for himself. With the correct sentence structure closure of the YouTube page vessel. Now he's saying that the YouTube page vessel possessed by Jason Matthew has correct sentence structure closure. How does James know that if he himself does not have closure on the grammar? He is making a claim of closure, but how does he know for sure if he doesn't have closure on it that the channel has closure on it? Do you see what I'm saying? This is just a subtle sort of nitpicking type of thing. But because James is advanced as he is, I'm trying to do the best I can to help him to pinpoint with laser-like focus what he's conveying. To be careful not to make a claim that is not true. Because if he does not have closure on the grammar, then this would not be a logical claim for him to make. Now he could say something like, a claim of the gratitude with the clarity of what I'm showing but to, to use the word closure in that fashion when they don't have closure on the grammar would not be a correct uh, mode of, of conveyance with their sentence. Now I'm not saying anything about the correct sentence structure itself. The structure itself, the sequencing is beautiful, position lodials, facts, no particles of negation, it's great. It's what is being conveyed. You have to. Now it's time to whittle it down to z really zero in on the perfection that is correct sentence structure. Thumbs up, James. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Eric Bostra. And this is a comment on, I think, the Romley Stewart video that I did. And he says, he, as in Romley, isn't saying that anything is his. He is saying that it is theirs, other man's, and that it doesn't make sense in English. Well, I mean, I guess it's Eric's interpretation, as well as anyone's interpretation, as well as my interpretation as to what Romley says or doesn't say. Only Romley can say that. Uh, but Eric is, of course, welcome to his own interpretation of that. When I was in school, we had no tin tin in the library because it is in boxes, in all caps, and such books rot your brain. I wonder how old colon Eric is. Because I myself am, you know, I'm getting up there in age. I'm over 50. And uh, to say that a book like Tintin is not in a library because it's in boxes in all caps and such books rot your brain. How is that so? How does it rot your brain, Eric? Pray tell. I mean, do you, does it start stinking? Does the odor start coming out your ears when you notice that a brain is rotten? Uh, because I went to the same fiction schools probably that you did or Romley did or anyone else did, and I even went to college. You know, and I read lots of books that had all caps and italics and quotations and boxes. And, you know, I've, I've had, you know, 
CAT scans and MRIs and uh, brain scans, and my brain has not been rotted by the, such things. But I digress. We had no Hardy Boys books because there is one author named, but multiple authors who wrote it. One hand, one pen maketh a continuity. Again, that's your opinion. That's, you know, whatever. Um, we had Hardy, books, Hardy Boys uh, books in my school. I went to Catholic school for the first seven years of my, you know, schooling. And they had Hardy Boys. They had Lord of the Rings. They had Hobbit. They had all awesome books. I think they even had Catcher in the Rye at that elementary school library. I'm not kidding. So it, it was pretty cool. So, you know, but uh, what he's saying about we had no Hardy Boys books because there is one author named, how did they know that that's why they didn't have Hardy Boys books? Most libraries in schools, the, the books come through donations as far as I know. So maybe no one donated Hardy Boys. I'm sure it didn't have anything to do with the authors because lots of books have, you know, joint authorship. Take, for example, I, I love to read autobiographies, but some autobiographies are basically a writer interviewing the person who the biography is about, and they just record conversations, and then they craft that into an autobiography. The writer does the writing, and the interviewee gives the info, and the writer presents it. So that's two authors in the same book. So I don't see how that has squat to do with what this guy's talking about. Just like Romley, there's a lot of presumption and assumption in what they're saying. Another comment. Love to see the members on here. So active. And uh, this one's from Joseph. And they say, gratitude. It seems I am there now. I haven't had wind in my sails for quite some time. Thank you for all that you do and this message of encouragement today. I needed that. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And this uh, was a comment on a video I did where I was trying to vigorate people, you know, give people inspiration that, you know, <laughs> saying things like, you know, the dawn always falls the day. If you think you're, you know, down and out in one way, you know, if you keep studying and you, and you keep persevering, you'll pick it back up, you know, it's, it's not so much, you know, everybody gets knocked down, it's what happens when you get knocked down, do you get up, like that song by Chumbawamba, you get knocked down, get up again, um, that's what makes a champion, you know, how you handle adversity in that sense, so I'm glad that was able to help you, Joseph, thank you. Another member's comment. Man, this is awesome seeing all these members in here. Uh, Jason says, I very much enjoyed listening to your podcast and wish you all the success in getting more guests to participate with your show. Ah, I think he's talking about the Continuum Conversations talk show that I do, which is actually a talk show, not a podcast. Although I do have a podcast, and that podcast is called For the Quantum Grammar Shoot. So I have the podcast For the Grammar Sh uh, Quantum Grammar Shoot. I have the talk show, which is for the Continuum Conversations, and that's about it. And I have Coral Blade Grotto broadcasts as well. Uh, but thank you very much uh, for the kind words, Jason. And the final comment comes from April, and they say, This stuff is a challenge. Bring it on. I'm going into my third time watching this video alone. But I have a question. For the Foundations of Syntax, there's two videos. Do you have more? Or are the rest paid subscription? Now, I wanted to address this. I see that April has been a viewer for at least several months now. I don't know exactly how long, but at least several months. And April, if you go through my YouTube channel, you will find many playlists. I uh, highly recommend you look at the playlists. You will find three main correct sentence structure playlists which cover the three aspects of correct sentence structure. Correct sentence structure communication, the second is parse, and the third is syntax. And in the syntax playlist, there's way more than two videos. There's actually 50 or 60 videos in there looking at syntax from all different angles, uh, from beginning to intermediate to advanced. And there's definitely way more than two videos. 
And all of my correct sentence structure knowledge is available for free to the YouTube video uh, viewer if they want to invest in Outspace and studying. The subscription channel support comes from those who, uh, who value all the sweat equity, the blood, sweat, and tears that I put into the thousands of hours of these 500 plus free videos on YouTube. So April, if you value what I do, you're more than welcome to contribute and support what I do by joining the channel membership. Now, there is exclusive content available to members. But here's the thing. The correct sentence structure knowledge that is critical to getting closure on this grammar is available for free on YouTube, there, uh, on my channel, in the over 500 videos. I don't hide anything or put anything behind a paywall. It's all there for you. Now, there is exclusive content for members uh, to give you a little something extra for your membership, which is me giving different scenarios like um, foreign vessel and dry dock scenarios, different psychological scenarios, personal stories, different ways of looking at the grammar and things like that. But all the main stuff that's that's available for people who like freebies and just don't want to join the membership for whatever reason, it's available to you. So you just have to take the time, invest the time and energy to uh, study. Like I'm fond of saying, and people are probably sick of hearing me say it, you know, I invested thousands of hours in creating, shooting, editing, and publishing these videos over the last five years. It's up to you to invest your now space in studying them. And if you do that, you will definitely find that I have way more than two videos on syntax. Thank you for the comment. And thanks, everybody. Thanks to everybody for the comments, especially the members. Thank you, members. I appreciate all your support. It helps to keep me, you know, upgrading my equipment and things like that. I really appreciate it. Cheers. That about does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.